Good morning for those of you who don't know. My name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style and now natural hair care. So if you were into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So we are in fall. The weather is getting cooler here in the Carolinas. So I thought that I would just put together my entire collection of sweater dresses. You guys know that especially for fall and for winter, I live in a sweater dress. I just wanted to briefly show you my collection. I think I have anywhere from like 24 to 26 dresses. I don't want to keep you forever. So we're just going to run through them. And the reason why I love sweater dresses is because you put one on and you are dressed, they are cozy, and they are chic, okay? If any of these are still available, I will link them down below. Remember, this is a collection, so I have been collecting them. And yes, you are going to see multiples. I do have issues, okay? So the very first one is going to be this sweater dress right here. It is a midi length and it is from Amazon. I love this because of the color. One pro tip that I will give you very easy is that if you are going to go for a more affordable option like Amazon, like Lulu, like H&M, like Zara, if that's the option or if that is what's your budget or your price range, go for neutral or solid colors. When you start getting into prints, it can sometimes cheapen the look. And when you start getting into like a neon yellow sweater dress from H&M, it can read cheap very quickly. Just make sure if that is your budget and that is your price point, there's nothing wrong with that. But just make sure, especially if you're starting your sweater dress collection, or especially if you are revamping your wardrobe or if you are redoing your wardrobe, or if you're just trying to change it a little bit and you want to look a little bit more sophisticated, start with your neutrals and start with your basic colors. Okay, the next dress, like I just said, I have issues. I'm a creature of habit, but it is the exact same dress, but it is in this gorgeous blue color. I bought this sweater dress specifically for that beautiful J. Crew coat that I bought last year. I have a bag to match, I have earrings to match, and I have shoes. I wanted, an, I wanted a tonal look. I wanted a very beautiful monochromatic look with that blue. So it's just the same thing right here. This is also a midi dress with long sleeves. Next is another Amazon dress. And you will notice that a lot of my affordable dresses are the ones from Amazon, like I said, come in those very basic or neutral colors. So it is this dress right here. It does come with a sash. Sometimes I wear with the sash, sometimes I don't. Just depends on how I'm feeling. And it does have a slit and it is midi length. You guys know that I am obsessed with this gorgeous sweetheart neckline. You guys know that I have those gorgeous tops from Pixie Market with long sleeve and just like the tube top, I have them in black and white. Those are a little bit deeper, but this one for someone, it would be for someone who wants a little bit more coverage, but I love these. It does have a slip, I think I said that. This is the back. I will give you a pro tip with this one if you are still considering this. This is so warm and so cozy and it is actually very thick and it hugs your curves in all the right places. I got a small. If you are going to purchase this dress, what I will say to you is purchase your size. It is true to size. You can wash it, but hang it up to dry. I dried this in the dryer and it shrunk, okay? So just remember, if you're going to purchase this, I'm thinking about getting the green one. If you are going to purchase this, do not dry it, okay? The next one is the exact same dress in this gorgeous lilac color. Again, it came with the sash. I did get a small. It does have a slit and it is a midi dress. So it comes below the knee. And I did the exact same thing with this one. I washed this one as well and it did shrink. So they are a little snug, but not too snug to where I do not feel comfortable. So like I said, thinking about getting the mint green one, I will not be washing that one, okay? But it's the exact same dress in a different color. And I think this about rounds out the Amazon dresses, but this is actually going to be my newest one. I believe you guys saw this one maybe like a month and a half ago. It does come with a tie as well. It does have the buttons and a collar. It is midi length, but it does not have a slit. That's fine. And I actually do not mind the silver buttons. You guys know that I am a gold girl, but I think with this, it kind of just makes the dress a little bit more casual, okay? And then here is the back. Next, we have a dress from Lulu. You guys know that I love sweater dresses. That is the point of this video. I also like voluminous sleeves. But one thing that I always talk about how a woman can be, you know, sexy, but understated without being overtly sexy is something backless, not too low cut, but just something backless, right? Keep something to the imagination. This is the reason why I bought this dress. Okay. This all right here. This is the entire reason I bought this dress. It has a beautiful detail, like a waffle or like a design, but this is the reason why I bought this dress. Okay. 
Now, I believe this also came in pink and I believe they bring this back every year, but that is the entire reason I bought this dress. It does say mini, but for reference, I am 5'2", so I can sometimes get away with mini skirts and them not looking too mini. For me and my body type and my height, I could wear this with a stiletto or a kitten heel or like a thigh high boot and it won't give off like that, not trashy vibe, but it won't give like so much skin or it will give me, it was, I will still have the correct skin proportion, okay? Okay, in this collection, I believe I do have two sweater sets that I do wanna show you. Again, this video is for inspiration and just to show you what I have in the different types of sweater dresses and sweater sets that I have. For me, a sweater set is the exact same thing as a sweater dress. You put it on your chic and your dress. You guys have seen this a hundred times and every single time I wear this or post this, someone asks me where it's from. This is from Zara. This is probably, I would say, one of my best purchases from Zara. I love the color. I love the fit. I love everything about this, right? It has the sleeves. It has the beautiful color. This is the back. And this is what I'm talking about when I say when you're going for a more affordable price point, make sure that it's not necessarily, not a solid, but like maybe like a deep jewel tone or like a darker color like this or one of your basic neutral colors. That will instantly give you this look of chic and quality, right? As opposed to like going to Zara, like I said earlier, and buying like a neon green sweater dress that has cutouts, right? That's not going to look as elevated as something like this, right? And of course I did the exact same thing with this one. I washed it myself and then it shrunk. And then I took it to the, not the tailor, but the um, dry cleaner. And they kind of stretched it out a little bit, but it's, it's still smaller than it was, but it's fine. But I would probably say to date, this is one of my best purchases. And I think the entire outfit, I wanna say was like under a hundred dollars. I think the top was maybe like 45 and the skirt maybe had been like 45 or 50, I don't remember. But to date, this is one of my best purchases from Zara. I wear it all the time and I still get compliments every single time I wear it. The next one, which this is more of like a house dress or like a drop off, like drop off eight in that school and I don't get out of the car. I don't think I would ever like wear this out, but I just want it on here because it is a sweater dress and I wear it all the time. But this is also from Zara. Again, the color, the color is absolutely gorgeous. This is a maxi dress on me. It does have two slits on the side, but this is the front and then this is the back. Also, she is quite sheer. I'm looking, yeah, she is quite sheer. So this is just something that I lounge in the house or if I have to drop Aiden off and I don't get out, then I will wear this. Next is also from Zara. You guys probably would have seen this. What did I wear for I think like Christmas holiday or whatever during the, the holiday season? I love fit and flare dresses. You guys know that that is the dress that I feel as though fits my body type the best but give me a sweater fit and flare dress, you will win me over every time. This dress does not have pockets, but it's fine. This sweater dress hits me in all the right places and it is a gorgeous color. So it is a fit and flare, I guess you could, or people do refer to these as scared dresses. I think it hits me like right at the knee, but this is the front and then this is the back. Okay, and lastly from Zara is going to be kind of the exact same dress, but it does have a couple of differences. Um, it is like a mock neck or a total neck, but I bought this because of the sleeves. I love the sleeves. I think that they are so different. It is fit and flare, but I really bought this for the sleeves. If this was just like a regular black fit and flare sweater dress, I probably would have bought it, but the sleeves and the detail or the cutouts is what sold me. Again, this is something that can be sexy and sultry without being overtly sexy. Next, I do have a sweater dress or a mini sweater dress from Express. This is very old. I could not tell you the last time that I shopped at Express, but you guys know that I love voluminous sleeves, so that is why I bought it. It kind of does give you the volume and then it tapers down. But this is the front and then this is the back. This is something that I typically don't wear by itself. I typically put on like a coat or like a sleeveless uh, vest over this and then belt it. This is from Forever 21. This is definitely like a game day sweater dress. I said I haven't worn this for like an outfit in ages. I got this from Forever 21. This is the front. This is the back. Again, remember when we're talking about those affordable options, make sure you are picking colors that are rich, deep, not necessarily muted, but like your neutrals and things like that. Okay. 
Next, this cute little sweater set is from Rehas. I have worked with them a couple of times, but I love this. This is giving me Chanel. This is giving me a self-portrait. So you do have like the matching. You have like the cardigan that you can wear open or closed. I typically put like a black uh, mock or a black sleeveless turtleneck under it. And then you do have the skirt, which is a mini. Next is a three-piece set from Lulu. This sold out so quickly. And I think they also had it in like a tan or a beige. This is absolutely beautiful on, and it is a three piece. So you have the sweater part right here. Then you actually have like a top or a bralette or a shell. And then you have a midi skirt with a slit. Again, me being me, I decided to wash it and it did shrink. So I do wear the top portion. The skirt is a little tight for my liking. So I have been on Lulu's to see if they will ever restock this. But I would probably say that this is one of my best purchases to date from Lulu as well. It's just so beautiful and I love the color. This on me would probably be considered more of a maxi length. But this is a sweater dress with a keyhole from Rehas. This is what the front looks like and this is what the back looks like. This would definitely be a good option for the holiday season. You guys, I told you I am a creature of habit, so you will probably think you have seen this dress before, but it's a little different, right? This one is from Rehoff. This one does not have a slit. It does not have a sash. And I don't know if you noticed it when I tried on the other two, but their sleeves kind of like a bell sleeve where they kind of like flare out. This is a straight sleeve, okay? But this is the front. And then this is the back. Next is going to be this gorgeous sweater from ASOS. You guys have seen this before. I did it in the styling video. You guys will often see me wear this with like my Dior pumps, my Brandon Blackwood bag, and then my um, Loewe Obi belt. Works every time. That Obi belt, if you don't have one, I will link that down below and I will link some other affordable options. I have seen some that are like a third of the price from Etsy and like this new company. But if you are looking for something to, you know, up chic or elevate your outfit i would highly suggest to you the obi belt it works every time but this is the front and then this is the back it did come with this but i don't even use this and most of the time when i wear this i either have a coat on over it or i pair it with the obi belt next from asos is going to be this stunner as well this is a sweater set you can wear this off the shoulder, one shoulder or the other shoulder, or you can choose to kind of like drape it in the front. I always do one shoulder. And then it does have a matching midi skirt with a slit. Every time I wear this as well, I also get compliments. And with this one, most people think it's a dress, but it's not, it is indeed a set. But this is the front and then this is the back. Okay, now let's move into more of like your contemporary and modern or moderate, okay? So this first dress is by Sailor. This was actually sent to me by the company. I did a couple of promotions or I did a collaboration with them on Instagram. I love this sweater dress because it is actually different from anything that I have in my closet. I love this detail right here when it comes to the turtleneck. I love the fringe right here. It nips it at the waist and then it does have a slit. I would probably say for me, this is more or so maxi length than it is in midi, but yes, I love this. And then this is what the back looks like. Next, we have Pixie Market. You guys know, but I absolutely adore Pixie Market. I have a several of their pieces. But this right here is just like your sweater dress. This is midi length. It does have a slit in the back, and then you kind of have like this, I what are, what are we gonna call this? A, a, a capulet or like, like a, a shoulder sweater. The point is, is that it's beautiful and they also did it in blue. I believe they bring this back every year. Like I said, everything available will be linked down below, but I bought this because it's just different. And I think again, that showing a little bit of skin can be sexy without being overly sexy, okay? Next, this sweater dress is a CMEO Collective by way of a fashion bunker. You guys know that my favorite color is gray. So when I saw this dress, I instantly fell in love. I love it because of how different it is. It comes all the way down. This ruffle comes all the way down. And then again, it kind of nips me in at the waist, but then it kind of like flares out at the hippage or gives me the, gives me the illusion that I have more hippage than I do. And then at the bottom, it flares out. Or at the bottom, it has like this ruffle. So this is the front and then this is the back. Again, creature of habit. But this one is from End of the Stories. So this right here, which you've seen this dress, what, four times now, has the beautiful sweetheart neckline. The sleeves are straight. And then for this one, there is no slit. But this is definitely midi length or longer on me. 
And I believe they bring this back every year as well. They also had it in like a very beautiful blue color and they also had it in red. But something as simple as this would be great for the holiday season. Next is Beck and Bridge. And yes, I do know that this is spaghetti sleeve, but I wanted to incorporate this one because I wear this in the house and I typically will like put something on over it. I would typically layer it. So during fall and winter, I use this as a layering piece, but I bought it because of the color and I also bought it because of the beautiful fabric and the beautiful design. This is definitely maxi, maxi, maxi. This comes all the way down to the floor. Even when I'm wearing heels with this, it's still on the floor. But this is the front and then this is the back. And lastly, in this category, you guys probably will recognize this dress. I was so happy when I found this on Banana Republic. It is the newest addition to my closet, whether it be a sweater dress, whether it be a purse, it's the newest thing that I have bought. It is this gorgeous sweater dress right here. This also came in black and red, but this is the color that spoke to me. I did get an extra, extra small and it fits to a T. It's slightly too big in the waist, but that can be fixed by using a belt. And really it's just my preference because when I showed it to you guys, you guys said that it fit perfectly. It's a little, little too big for me. It's not worth taking to the tailor because I want to keep the volume as I said in that video, but I love this dress. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's fit and flare. And then at the bottom, it has this gorgeous detail right here. And then this is back and I cannot wait to style this. Okay, let's move on to luxury. And for me, luxury typically is anything like 600, 500 plus, okay? So the very first one is going to be this gorgeous rust dress, rust dress from Galvin London. This is definitely more of a midi length on me. I am waiting, and this comes in a shirt. I've been looking at the shirt as well. I've been waiting for them to release this in a long sleeve version. But when I tell you I love this dress, I love this dress. It hugs me in all of the right places. It's tight, but it's not too tight. It's still very flattering. It's still very feminine. It's still very ladylike, okay? I wanna say this was originally like 895 or 900. I was on the website one day and they had it for 450. I immediately grabbed it. And I believe this did come from either London or their flagship store in New York. And I think I got it within like two or three days. But this is the front. And again, we still somewhat have that same silhouette. This one's a little bit different because it does have a V. And then this is the back. And if you are ever wondering like when it comes to how they're able to keep the shape or how it's able to keep this shape, I don't know if you can see it and I'll get a little bit closer so you can see, but if you see me going like this, or if I turn it this way and go like this, there is actually a wire right here for it to keep its shape. But I love this and I feel that this silhouette right here does compliment me. And my last sweater dress, and again, you probably already know what it is. It is from Ula Johnson. I got it by way of Moda Operandi. It is this dress right here. If you have been a part of this community for a while, then you would know that I was stalking this dress. I do also wanna point out that this was a tunic, so there was like a slit. The slit went all the way up, I wanna say like past the thigh meat into the, into that area. I actually had my tailor close the slit and then take it in, okay? I just want, if you ever, you know, get the opportunity to get this and it pops up somewhere, I just want you to be aware that this was not originally a dress. It was a tunic with a very, very high slit. Y'all know I don't do that. So I put the Maya spin on it, she took it in and she took it in, okay? But I stalked this dress hard, okay? This is probably one of like the most stalkerish things that I have stalked, right? Doesn't make any sense, but that is how much I love this. The detail, the weight, the quality, the color, everything about it. I was on the Motor Operandi site every single day, okay? This is definitely midi length or a little bit longer on me. The sleeve, the detail, the little balls, the turtleneck, y'all know I love, live in turtlenecks and this is the back as well. I typically wear this with a belt because it is, even though I had her take it in some, I didn't want her to take it in to the point that it was just too tight, so I do wear a belt with this or I will throw it on with a coat, but I love this dress. Not to mention, I got her on sale. I wanna say she was around like 3,500, 2,500. I got her for 50% off. 
So you know, as soon as I hopped on the website and got the sale alert, you know I immediately bought it. And Moto Operandi is pretty good with their shipping as well. I think I got it like within two to three days, but I love this sweater dress. Love, 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 love. This will be in my collection for a very, very, very long time. All right, that is my entire sweater dress collection. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I would probably say for me, my two favorite, I'll do one favorite for the sweater dress, of course, is going to be the Ula Johnson one. And then like a very close, close, close runner up or a second is going to be that new Banana Republic dress. And then for my sweater sets, it's got to be the Zara one, hands down. It's It will always be the Zara one. I feel like that one will be in my collection for a very long time as well. But yes, in the comments, let me know which one was your favorite. I hope you were able to gain some inspiration from this. I just want to remind you here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And right here or right here, I will put my Instagram handle. Also, in the comments, you guys, let me know. I have been doing my research. I've just been trying to forward my brand. I've been trying to grow my brand. And is it time for me to hop on TikTok? Let me know in the comments. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye. We always have it coming.